in here is a brand new rock back pole vault bag. I know, I know, and I know, it looks like a cajon. Wow, rock back pole bag. Comes with a strap in here as well. Yeah, and then that's it. It's just this and that. This thing is not that heavy at all. It feels like a like a normal pole bag. Let's get the straps out first. Strap, wow. Heavy duty strap, I like it. I'll get some specs for you here in a second. These are just my initial thoughts on this right now. Put that over there for now. Let's cut into this. I guess it's just gonna unroll all at the same exact time. Whew. Never mind. Woohoo! Oh my goodness. It's not wide at all. It's yeah, look at that, man. That's awesome. It looks like it's either side. That's awesome. So I can just put this in whichever direction I so please. Nice, and I think I can put some more poles right here. Every single pole that you can fit in here has its own little pocket sleeve. Exterior of it, it makes its own like PVC pipe, so that way it keeps all of the poles safe on the inside. And then I, like, I love the handles on it. The handles should be a thing on every single pole bag in existence. It makes carrying poles so much easier, and it's on the front and the back. So let me get you guys some like actual specs of the bag. The ends of the bag are made out of this nice little leather. I've had good luck with the leather before on my other pole bags and they keep the water out. The bag is 18 ounce vinyl. It also comes in a bunch of different colors so you can choose. You don't have to go with blue like I did. Um, it does fit up to uh, eight poles and sometimes nine if they're thin enough. Depending on what kind of poles you're using, you can probably or fit a few more in here. So I got the 13, nine to 14, seven length bag for my 14 foot pole since that's what I jump on. On the inside, it's Polytech sheet. That that sleeves up the poles. Once you zip it all up together, it puts them in a nice, safe, and secure position within the bag. If you're traveling with it nationally, it's gonna be totally fine. But if you're flying internationally, add some extra tubing in. Let's bring some poles up here and put them in here. And so I brought a few of my poles. I'm gonna see how many of these poles I can fit in here. Slide it on in here. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. And there's still a lot of room in there. Yeah. Okay, look at that. Been flattened. Yeah, that's probably about six inches there, give or take. Put a 13 foot pole in here. And if you're like me, two 12 foot poles in here. Look at that. So there are two poles in the same sleeve right now. Seven poles in here. And the description said six to eight. These are the only two 15 foot poles. I put them both on the ends. The 11, six, 12 foot pole in the same sleeve. Let's try and uh, zip this bag up and then we'll see what the strap looks like. Probably shouldn't have put the poles. I probably should have put them down here. So I rearranged them. Zip it up now. Pull bag is all zipped up now. A lot lighter than my normal pull bag is. I expected it to be a lot heavier than this. What I was told is that you have to crisscross them in order for it to work properly instead of it being this. I'm assuming he actually means to crisscross like this. Oh wow, that's actually really nice. I've tried out a bunch of other bags that have straps on it. It didn't feel like this at all. This feels perfectly centered out. I don't feel like I have to hold on to the bag the entire time. And it's not that heavy and the shoulder strap feels really nice. Nice. And then there's handles on the front. They're made of a nice material. We're gonna take the bag and we're gonna put it on the car and see how well it does with travel. One thing that you should know is that whenever I put poles on my car, I always put it on the side of the car. I don't like putting them on the top. Tie a strap up to the top and then just hang it from the side right here and here through this little loop and then it holds it in place. We're on the road right now. We are gonna kind of drive a little bit faster just to see how the bag holds up. So it all looks pretty good. Then we're gonna take the poles out and see if there's any damage to it. Get a thumbnail real quick. Some balance. Okay, I think that's good enough. So far, so good. Oh, I guess I have to take these off. Just gonna take the poles out one by one. Just do a little flex test on them. Biggest pole in here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Connected. Yep. I'm gonna get out of this wind. We'll give you a final review there. Overall, I thought this was a, it is probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen. The innovation's awesome. I didn't record this, but I was walking the bag down without any poles in it. It felt like a PVC pipe. It was sturdy. It wasn't bending at all. If you were to take this on a rough road trip, it would be just fine. I'm planning on using this as a, I know exactly the poles I'm gonna use for this meet. The weather conditions are gonna be absolutely perfect. Basically just a bag for indoor season. I got work and be a really cool 
cool practice bag. If I just wanted a few just in case pulls, I wasn't 100% sure on what my practice was gonna look like. I would definitely 100% recommend this bag. I'm gonna put the links to buy a rock back pull bag in the description below. Thank you, Bruce, for sending this bag out to me because this is a bag I've been looking at for a very, very long time. I finally got around to getting my hands on one. I plan on traveling quite a few places this year. I can't wait to do some vlogs on it. Uh, that's all I have for today. Kind of a short video today. See you guys around.